so in this video i'm going to be finding out whether or not the race chip s or race chips in general if they actually work i've always been curious about these um and i was just going through ebay one day and then uh, i just saw a race chip s for sale for 99 pounds so i figured why not um they retail for about 160 pound i think so i figured you know what i'll buy it, try it see if it works make a video out of it so i've installed it so far i've been driven for about 50 60 miles now it seems to work um but i don't know if i'm just making up or not so today i'm going to be uh, finding out you know with science so i've got a um I've got this app here, it's not going to be the most accurate, it's going to use GPS. So what I'm going to do is do some acceleration tests, I suppose, some acceleration runs. Um, I won't do any not. Okay, so the app didn't quite work out. So I'm going to have to rerun this entire test, but with a race box. Uh, focus on that. There we are. Let's just say uh, a GPS unit, so it's going to try well it's going to be a lot more accurate and actually function so uh yeah um yesterday was kind of a waste so uh i'll reuse some of the footage but i'll show results from that right okay let's uh let's see how we get on with that um i won't do any not to 60s because completely pointless uh, i won't do second either uh, i'll just do some pulls from third um yeah i'll just do some pulls on third because one uh my clutch seems to be on its way out so i'm gonna try third um and be a kinder on the clutch because i've noticed that sometimes it does start to slip in second because of the thought uh well, because of the torque so i would do sometimes from sometimes from 30 to 70 uh, with the race chip not installed and then i'll do it again with it installed so uh, i'm going to quickly show the installation and then um put the sort of blank in adapter thing in and just unplug it go for a drive time it with the chip unplugged and then time it with the wrist chip installed and uh, see how we get on uh, mods i've done to the car intake is stock um gpf delete uh, flexi pipe installed three inch um what else uh, that's a custom back box but i don't think that's making much of a difference and i think that's about it so, uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Here we go. It's a bit filthy in here. It needs to clean, but oh well. So, uh, these are the harnesses for the race chip. But I think it's pretty neat installed, to be honest. And I've got it back up here. Now, if the light is switched off, that means it's deactivated. So, I can pull this tab, pull that out. Alright, and then install this okay, light. So that should be back to standard now. Alright, let's see if I can tell any difference. Well, let's start. Oh, it starts up as not normal. Fantastic. Alright, let's get her warmed up and get to our, our route. Okay, well, so far so good. It's still driving us as normal i suppose um what i'm trying to figure out is is there a difference you know what i, th I think there is i think it's slower i i, I do i do think it's slow, it feels slower it doesn't feel as aggressive anymore like there was an urgency to the acceleration before in third there just was and uh, i guess we'll find out if it's all in my head or not soon enough when i actually time it but i do think from what i can feel anyway it does feel slower yeah and then i think it's definitely slower the boost comes on later it doesn't feel as talky doesn't feel as urgent doesn't feel as aggressive i think it's definitely slower there's definitely a difference so it's time to find out how much of a difference there is
this chip is installed now, I will do one lap first just to make sure it's you know started working and then I'll time the second lap. Thing there is but just in case 